Welcome back to the show. It's time for another episode of Playing With Your Food. If you guys don't know what that's all about, basically, we're not going to teach you how to cook anything. We're, not gonna, we're just going to review food items. We're going to examine them. We're going to find out more about them. Uh, it's kind of cool. If you haven't seen it, I have a playlist called Playing With Your Food. You can see some of the past episodes uh, where we went and we got like large Cokes at three different places and we measured out how much soda you get. Anyway, you get the picture. Okay, so we're doing three hamburgers. We're doing uh, the Big Mac from McDonald's. We're doing the $6 burger from Carl's Jr. And then we're going over to Wendy's for the Baconator. We're gonna take a look at them. We're gonna open them up. Uh, I'm gonna compare them to their picture. It's gonna be really cool. And I'm gonna also tell you the pricing on each one, okay? So let's take a look right now. We're gonna compare it to its picture that the advertisement shows for the Big Mac. We're starting with McDonald's. So come on, I just bought this. I haven't even opened the bag. For all I know, it could be a double cheeseburger and they screwed up my order. So come on close, let's take a look. My Big Mac. How much was my Big Mac? This was $4 and, hang on a minute, I got the receipt somewhere here. Okay, so it says here, yep, this, what, this cost me $4.51. Okay, so I wanna get a, I want to just see how I mean, it's not a, not a very big box. See, my hand just covers the whole thing. So $4.51. Let's take a look and open this up here to the best of my ability without destroying the burger. And I got them all dry so they wouldn't be soggy looking or anything like that. Okay, so let's just slide this out. There we go. And take a look at that. Does it look good? Does it look close to the picture? Here's the uh, one I just bought. I see the cheese down here. Let's take a look at the picture here. From the looks of the picture, there's only cheese on the bottom, and that's correct. There should be pickles on top, and once again, I didn't get the, uh, the Thousand Island secret dressing they put on it, but, uh, but I, I think it looks pretty close. I mean, the, the bottom burger patty doesn't look too big. In fact, it looks really tiny. Um, the, all the burgers are like wafer thin. All right, so let me show you. Let me show you how thin the. Look at this. Look at that. That's the. That's how thin the burger is. I'm afraid I'm even gonna rip it. Is that crazy? Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? That's the meat you get. That's crazy. So let's take. Let's break it apart and take a look at it. That's all the meat you get. That's your two patties right there. Look at that. It's like as thick as my finger. Two patties as thick as my finger. Isn't that crazy? There's like no meat here at all. $4.51 for this? Are you serious? I can get a big porterhouse steak for $4.50. And if I get it the day it expires, I get it for half price. This is embarrassing. That's $4.51 right there. All right, moving on. I'm going to go run out to, uh, to Wendy's right now, and I'll be right back. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so I just got back from Wendy's. This was, uh, how much was this? Man, this, this one was more expensive. I went with the, the two-layer Baconator, $6.24. Okay, so this burger here, $6.24. Yep, they're not real big. They put a lot of wrapping in it. Look, they give you this wonderful little stand for your burger. Why, I have no idea. What a waste. But look, okay, so you pull that off. And I told them to make it dry. So let's take a look at it. This is what $6.24 gets you. Yep, that's right. Okay, so now let's, what do you think? Comparable, not comparable? It's your call. I'm just trying to examine it and take a look. All right, so let's tear it apart now. I have like, like half slices, three half slices of bacon here. And then I've got a patty that's probably twice the, maybe, yeah, about twice the thickness of McDonald's. Maybe not. But I know I got, I got twice the meat of McDonald's' Big Mac. I know that. So we're going to put that right there. And then the other half of those three pieces, so you get three pieces of bacon on your sandwich. All right, so there's the second patty. Same thickness. It's breaking apart a little bit. It's a lot thicker than the Big Mac. So you have two patties worth there. And... A little bit of cheese, which you pay extra for. Now, here's one thing. Only I only got one slice of cheese. 
Let me take a look at the picture here. The picture shows something different. Yep, picture shows two slices of cheese. So I got ripped off a slice of cheese. And this is what you get for $6.41. You basically get that and the three strips of bacon. Um, I, I think it's, I don't know. Is it a better value than the Big Mac? The Big Mac was nasty looking. And this looks a little bit better. Now, some of you know Carl's Jr. as Hardee's, okay? Uh, on the east coast of the United States, it's Hardee's. On the west coast, it's Carl's Jr. And they have a burger called the $6 Burger. It's not, it's not $6, though. But they claim it to be as big as the $6 Burger in a restaurant, which is now around $8 and ain't change. This burger here is $4.73. Uh, $4. So let's take a look at it. There you go. All right, get rid of the box. They do a really nice patty on this one because I've had it before. Um, <laughs> they're always lopsided and squished, but uh, this has the cheese that they promised. It's supposed to be a $6 patty, which is extra, extra big patty. Okay, $4.73. And uh, let's just put it, let me turn it like this. Okay, and then next to it is the one that they show in the advertisement. What do you think? Think it looks uh, like it? Close to it? I know it's a little deformed, but uh, there you go. You make the call. Okay, we've been looking at the patty, so let me pull the patty out. And I'm not, never going to be able to get the cheese off, so. But they give you a lot of cheese. Nice piece of cheese. The patty's big. And the patty's thick. And it's really heavy. So this is the best of the patties in my mind, but you guys, like I say, you make the call. I'm just taking a look at it. So it's a big, big patty. Put that off to the side and you get, I love red onion. They give you lots of red onion. Just the other burger did too, uh, from Wendy's, gave you some nice red onion. So let's tear this apart and show you what you get. All right, so there you go. This is what you get. It's only about 20 cents more than the Big Mac. And uh, seems seems like it's a better value right there than what we had with the Big Mac. This is 473. Okay, so let's review. Big Mac, yes, not worth the money. Four fifty-one, I think it was. Uh, looking at the Baconator, okay, that's two dollars more. Just have a few pieces of bacon on there. The best value of them all, as long as you can give up the bacon. I know we love bacon a lot, bacon, bacon, bacon. But uh, you go with the Carl's Jr. burger. That was four. What was that? Four seventy-three. Yeah. So for four seventy-three, you get the most meat, uh, beautiful, healthy-looking uh, produce on your burger. Uh, it looked good, so I'm gonna give Carl's Jr. the win on that one. You guys let me know if I'm wrong, okay? Put the comments down below, and give me some suggestions for the next episode of Playing With Your Food. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.